Lovely. Good, good to speak to you as always. Start as we always do then with the, the team news. How's everyone looking ahead of this one? Yeah, we've pulled up okay after uh, they, the St Helens game. Um, obviously, there was a, a few... Um, uh, fines that we got so no one missed matches from like discipline reasons um, so we're lucky to escape that and yeah from an injury front everyone's looking okay so um, looking to to uh, yeah getting our best team in the park yeah I saw that charge this was Kenny Dowell kind horse upper chick parcel you must have been a relief man after seeing it was just fines yeah definitely I mean it always I mean they're obviously cracking down on certain things which you know which is obviously good for the game um, you don't want to see players get suspended. I think you know fine was sufficient, um, you know, for for all of them. So, you know, we uh, we move forward now, which is good. Uh, Dean Hadley took a knock to his calf, didn't he? How is he doing? Yeah, no, he's fine, mate. Dean's back uh, in full training, so everyone, you know, touch wood at this stage is uh, is fully fit. How much of a boost is that to know that he's available for this? Yeah, I mean, obviously this time of the year, um, you know, it's it's the business end of the season now. Five games to go. You want to have, you know, your, your, your majority of your team to pick from. Um, you know, I spoke last week around Jordan and and Jesse. Um, you know, back in a few weeks, hopefully. Um, but other than that, you know, Sam Wood's going to be, um, you know, his possible season. Sam. So we've got everyone that's available for selection. Um, you know, can, can play this. We want everyone can play is available for selection. So uh, it's a good position to be in. Um, it's better than what we've been in previously. So with Jordan and Jesse, then is it still very much on track to what you were thinking originally? Then. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, the next sort of three weeks um, is the aim, or you know, in three weeks' time will be will be the aim, and and see how it goes from there. So uh, obviously, yeah, they, they've had some thorough, um, you know, rehab and. Jesse especially is is, is been um, you know he's ahead of schedule. Um, Jordan's a little bit different because Jordan's had a couple of these uh, you know similar sort of injuries, so we need to to manage that properly. Uh, but if he's you know when he's right to play, he'll certainly play. You've got Elliot Minchella back as well from suspension. How big is that for you too? Yeah, massive. You know, Elliot provides us a lot of energy, um, but he also provides us you know with a. Uh, a ball playing, you know, 13. So D- Dino's that, you know, that as well. But uh, you know, having both those guys, especially on the field at the same time, just gives us a little bit more, uh, a little bit more footiness. I think at the moment, last couple of weeks, we, you know, we haven't um, sort of thrown enough at opposition teams, especially in that cup final. And then last week we got suffocated, um, you know, by a really good St Helens team. Uh, we made a lot of errors in that game, so I, you know, we started to open up and play a little bit towards the the back end of the game, but it was too late. So certainly having Mini and, and Dean um, along with our spine uh, certainly gives us more options uh, to play with the ball. I imagine the last couple of weeks has been a bit of an emotional roller coaster really for the squad. How's everyone feeling now, following on from Saints? Yeah, uh, everyone's good. Um, you know what we ended up doing. We we're initially going to have the weekend off, uh, Saturday, Sunday, but we. We made a decision to give the extra day off, and, and today was our first day back in. Um, you know, we, we just want to look forward now. I mean, obviously, we went through the cup and a uh, great experience, and then went to St Helens. And look, I thought I thought our effort was was there. Uh, you know, the, the, the scoreline sometimes doesn't reflect. Uh, you know, the effort put in. Uh, there was a 15 minute period there that wasn't anywhere near where we need to be, and that's where we got. You know, there was three tries in, in that period of time. Uh, but in terms of you know effort, it was there. We we just we just turned too much ball over. You know we we uh, had too many unforced errors in yardage. Um, so you know the the best thing for that would be to you know put that behind us, put the the cup behind us, freshen the guys up. Um, you know and get them ready and, and excited to play this week. And they're certainly they've, they've bounced in today. So we're just looking forward now and looking for, at the next five weeks and, and and what's ahead of us. From all of that, what was the biggest thing? burning in your mind really that you were keen to work on once with the squad when you got them back freshness i just wanted them to uh you know to come in excited and buzzing about playing again on friday that's that's the main objective is for us we've played uh you know lee three times now obviously in the cup two weeks ago narrow loss we, we had a narrow loss at the start of the year and then one game there that you know they outplayed us and and we we, we were poor that night um so we know you know what to expect from Lee, um, and we'll have, a, we'll have a brief look at them. But it's mainly around the uh, you know the object- objective for us this week is to is to freshen the guys up and get them excited about what's ahead. Uh, you know when you've got a especially with our team, you know when we're full of energy, 
um, and, and the group's buzzing, they're enjoying coming into training, that certainly reflects into our performances. So that's what this week's been about. It's been about you know them spending some time with their families and, and taking a, you know, a few days off, which they did, uh, bounce in today, which they did, and, and have a solid session. They'll have tomorrow off, and then we'll go captain's run. So for us, it's about you know clearing our heads from, from what's happened and, and, and having a, a real narrow focus about what's ahead. There's been plenty of talk, of, as you can well imagine, about possibly making the playoffs and that, that push. How much is that actually on your mind, or is it more for you just making sure you hit the standards game on game and then what will be will be? Yeah, look, I think from the way we sort of played last week, uh, you know, we, we weren't anywhere near uh, a semi-final team, to be honest, but, you know, you, you can have your reasons and your excuses. So what, what I want to see from our team now is, and we, we've always had this and, and we play our best, is, you know, when, when we're playing against a team and they say, you know, whole KR are a tough team to play, geez, we had to work for that. Um, you know, we scored scored there, but we had to work for, you know, hard to get that try or whatever it may be. When we do that, um, you know, we put ourselves in the picture. So if you start getting overwhelmed, and, and I know... You know, it's your job and media's job to, to ride around uh, semi-finals and how many games you've got to get to win. There's no doubt internally we know what's ahead of us. But for us, you know, we, we need to be that team again that, that teams find difficult to play. Um, and then, you know, you're thereabouts at the end of the game because you have been difficult to play, because you have stuck to what works for you. Um, we've been a little bit inconsistent with that. But again, I'm only looking forward now and... and we're in a position to, to play finals, but we certainly need to uh, to improve in some areas that, that we want to work on. So as you say, you face Lee again at uh, home in Super League. How much do teams play differently in a cup final compared to a league game with regards to you prepping ahead of this one? Sorry, mate, say that again, please. I say when you're playing in a cup final, because you're yep. playing Lee again, so playing in a cup final compared to a league game, how different is it in terms of you using maybe that challenge cup final as prep ahead of this one? Yeah, I mean, there's there's some footage there that we'll, we'll certainly look at. Um, we already have looked at it. It's just, you know, some reminders there of where we think that we that we exposed them a little bit, um, but also where they where they handled, they exposed us in certain areas in that game as well. So there'll be more sort of reminders. But, you know, as I said before, for us, it's about you know, what we can control and what we're going to be doing going forward. And as I say, if, if we get a, an energised team on, on Friday um, that are looking forward to playing again, which we've got every reason to play for, but, you know, excited about um, beating Lee at home, you know, then, then we'll, we'll, we'll turn up and, and we'll give ourselves every chance. Because to come home, you know, I think it's really important for, for our fans who have been on the road. They followed us down to Wembley. Um, they, a lot of them went to St Helens and, and now we're back at home this week. You know, we want to put in a strong performance. Certainly, of course, it's about winning the game. But as I said, if, if we are a team that is difficult to play against, um, opposition teams have got to fight for everything, then that'll put us in, uh, in good stead to win the game. Uh, and that's, that's our focus. Mm. So on that point then, do you feel like you almost need to have a cup final mentality in a way? Oh, look, I, I don't think, and what, what I'm striving to do, what we're striving to do with this club is, to be honest, is it doesn't matter when you're playing a, a cup final, it doesn't matter whether you're playing, you know, we, we played a game at, against Featherston um, the start of the year and, and I wasn't happy with that with that trial, that friendly game. Because um, for me, what, what I'm striving to do with this club is and, and team is, to, to be consistent no matter what, you know. And I, I understand you're going to get dips and I understand uh, at times players get tired, but what, it shouldn't be any different um, once you put a KR jersey on to go out and play in a cup final to then playing against the champions the week after on a Friday um, and then coming back to, to play Lee uh, the following week. So that's all a work in progress. Um, you know, I, I did say, and I'll say it again, the, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves uh, over the next sort of few weeks, and I said this before the cup, and and this is probably the period that I met most of all. Um, this is this is the period because you're playing against Lee, who you played against two weeks ago, uh, in a cup. We we narrowly got beat. Let's see what's in us. Let's see how much that hurts. Let's see how much is burning. Um, you know, certain people in the team. So um, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, and then we play against you know Catalans, which I don't want to go too far ahead, but back at home, who we haven't. Um, you know they've they've been extremely aggressive against us all. You know both games we've played, and um, you know we've had some players go down in those games. So, you know the next couple of weeks for me is, is an interesting time for for where we want to be. Um, but I'm talking the the long you know the bigger picture of the club. 
Um, but to answer your question, mate, for me, I don't think it matters too much. I, I don't want our our best and worst performance being too big, um, and that shouldn't change too much. I'm guessing a fair few fans will be thinking about getting one over on me, obviously, after what happened at Wembley. You kind of touched on it there with the burning thing inside the players. Do you use that as a motivator, what happened at Wembley, or do you keep that separate from this? Oh, look, I think for me, the biggest thing about motivation and, and discipline, like true motivation and true discipline really comes from within. Um, so so for me, it's, it's, it's sort of... I want to hand this over to the players in a sense. Don't get me wrong, it's, uh, you know, we've got our internal motivations that we'll try and get the players up. But um, if, if you don't, you know, if it's not hurting you inside a little bit, um, still that game, you know, what level of care do you have? You know, I'm sure, sure all our players care, but it's really the level of care that, um, that takes over, isn't it, when you, when you really want to, you know, right some, some wrongs, don't you? So, so for me, it's, you know, the, the team, the 17 that we put out this week, um, it'll be, as I said, about, it's about going out and being a hard team to play against. But there's no doubt, you know, we're playing against the team that beat us two weeks ago in the Cup. So who's key for Lee, do you think, in what they're doing this season? Oh, look, the ones, the ones for me is, uh, is Asiata and, and Lamb um, in terms of their attack. But Charlie's been exceptional for them, um, you know, on the wing. So whether he plays or not, but, you know, Zach Hardacre. I mean, they, they've, got, they've got a lot of good players. They, to be honest, they, they have a, a really... It's a well-balanced team in terms of, um, you know, their front row is Tom Mamone and, and Mulhern, uh, you know, exceptional, been exceptional all year, playing massive minutes. So... Um, I've just n named a few there, but they've they've got a, a number of players. But honestly, mate, for me, we need to get our end right. We need to get, um, you know, what we can control um, is our effort, and what we can control is, you know, how much that we want to. Uh, I suppose, as you spoke about before, turn um, the two weeks, two weeks ago into um, a positive, uh, because yeah, it's still it's no doubt it still needs to uh, <laughs> needs to burn to to uh, for some players. And finally, just on that home crowd then, back at home for the first time since the final, so how excited are you all about that prospect? Yeah, definitely. As I said before, mate, the, the, the crowd for us, huge. Going down to, uh, to Wembley to see all the fans there, um, you know, it was an emotional day. Obviously, uh, there's some fans in, in tears and, um, you know, we, we have such a passionate fan base, um, you know, as do, as do Lee. They'll get, they'll get their few... Uh, uh, they'll, they'll get a few out here as well. There's no doubt about that. But you know, I just want the crowd and uh, the fans to keep getting behind us because um, players certainly feel it, um, and it certainly drives them. So, you know, we've got an important game this week, and and they'll be helping us again, I'm sure. Brilliant stuff, Willie. All the best for Friday, mate. Cheers. Take care. Thank you. Hey, Willie. All right, mate. Hey, Joe. Good, mate. Yourself. Yeah, good, thanks. Always a pleasure to speak. Mate, it must be a bonus, like you mentioned, John Asiata and people like that, but to have Elliot Minchella back, it kind of opens that role for Dean to go back in the middle then because he's never really been a middle for Rovers until you came in, and I think it's probably his best position now, them effort areas that you speak about. That's massive, in it, against a team like Lee? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it gives us that extra um, that ball-playing option as well, Joe, but um, certainly... You know, when when you've got Mini um, and Dean in the middle there, we we are a tighter defensive unit, um, and you know all those effort areas that we do value, um, you know that those two are leading the way. So, you know, I think uh, you know having your big your big guys, you still need your your your, your bigger props to uh, to put a dent in teams and and do their thing. But certainly Dean's uh, taken that position and, and ran with it this year, so uh, he'll be certainly in the team again this week. And obviously watching Lee last week, it must have been pressure to see Taro Mayer doing a um, job on them. He played really well, didn't he? It's promising sounds for the club next year. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, Tyrone, you know, he's a, he's a rugby player, he's a footy player. You he, he, he can put him in certain positions and he'll do the similar sort of role. But as I've said, the, you know, he's an exceptional six. Um, you know, I think he's really dangerous when he takes a line on and he proved that when he scored that try. Um, and what, what he does do well is, is give his outside men uh, a lot of ball. You know, his centres see a lot of ball. Um, which they did last week. So I thought his patience was good and it's certainly uh, exciting for the club uh, next year. I know all your quotes of spots are filled up now and I know there's been other names mentioned in Super League and that, but are you still in the market? Are you still looking to improve and bolster the squad going next year? I know there will be loads of space left. Like, Yeah, you always are, mate. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that's evolving. It, it, it never stops uh, recruitment. So, you know, we are coming to the, the back end of it. 
but yeah, as as we've shown this year, and, and a lot of teams have shown, you're still this is still moving parts as the season goes on. But we're certainly coming towards the back end of it. But um, you know, there there'll be you know possibly some more signings. Perfect. Thanks, mate. Best of luck for Ali. See you then. Cheers, Joe. Thanks, mate. Hey, Willie. It's Gary. You all right. Hey, Gary. Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thank you. You mentioned before perhaps showing more in the league game than perhaps you did in the final against Lee. What sort of things extra do you think you need to show or could show? I just think with the ball, I think we, we, we just to play a little bit more. Um, you know, I think we were a little bit conservative uh, last time we played Lee um, and I thought we were against St Helens again um, last week. So, you know, when, when we, you know, when we, play a little bit, we open up, we play with a bit of freedom, we certainly play our best rugby. Um, we need to have discipline within that, so that's 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 key for us. You know, what we haven't had, we haven't had the discipline um, and we haven't thrown enough And because we've, we've, we've had a lot of handling errors the last couple of weeks and we sort of haven't thrown enough at teams, so there's still some fight there. Um, as I say, the, the scoreline sort of did in, didn't indicate um, that a great deal, but it was really a 15-minute period there, 10 to 15-minute period last week that we let ourselves down. Um, but overall, I was still pleased with our um, with our effort. Now we just need to combine playing a little bit more um, with some discipline. And, and again, the di and to be honest, mate, the discipline, like you know, we, we had four people that got charged, so it's it's not good enough. You know, we we need to uh, to be far more disciplined uh, with the ball, and we need to be far more disciplined when we're when we're defending as well. And you mentioned before about learning more about perhaps the mentality of your guys after the final, the way they respond. I think. Have you sort of learned things, good and bad, among your fellas, like things you're expecting, perhaps some things you didn't expect, again, good and bad? Yeah, absolutely. You're always learning. You're always learning about yourself. You're always learning about your staff. Always learning about your team. Uh, so like you say, mate, you're... The, 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 we've done a lot of positive things this year. Uh, you know, there's there's some areas that we want to improve, and, and and the big one for me um, would be just around making sure that our best and worst performance isn't too far off. You know, as I said before, um, naturally a cup game, big games. You know, teams get up for that, but I'd like to be able to think that we can get up for each and every week um, because you've got a KR jersey on and it's important. You know, it, it matters. Um, so that's that's what I'm trying to you know we're trying to improve as a club. Um, and then, you know, as, as we're doing next year, we, with our recruitment strategy, it is based around that. So, you know, it is going to be competitive for spots, as it is this year. Um, but we've had a lot of injury this year, so some, some guys have probably played longer than what they would normally. Got Some guys have probably, you know, needed to get dropped at times, but haven't because, um, you know, because we're, we're going thin with our squad. So... What you know, what what you always want to do is build a squad where it's 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 highly competitive and it brings the best out of each individual. But I've certainly um, you know learned a lot of positives about this team as well. So you know, I knew that I knew that they were tough and I knew um, that they they, well, they you know they work hard for each other. But the connection side, you know, how close the group are, um, all that's really important to me. Um, and we're getting closer and closer. You know, going through some loss, some cup cup final losses. Um, you know, can, can, can make a group closer and there's no doubt I think we are seeing that, although we've only played one game afterwards, but I'd like to think that we're going to um, show that in the next sort of five weeks, starting this week. Cheers, Willie. I'll pass you over. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Cheers, mate. Hey, Willie. How are you doing? Hey, James. Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just a couple of quick ones. I know it's been a tough few weeks, but has the chat been around the fact that he's still in your hands and there is so much still to play for? Yeah, that was put probably more so was um, was last week. As I say, James, this, this week's just about freshening the guys up and you know having a real narrow focus around what we want to be good at. Um, and as I said before, what we want to strive to be is a team that's hard to play against. And if we do that, then then, then we'll be okay. Um, we'll put ourselves in games, which which we've shown this year. You know, you look at the Leeds game, you look at the Wigan game recently, um, even the Cass game that we won. When, when you when you're hard to play against, then you, then you're putting yourselves in positions to win. And I thought we we, we did that in, in the Cup final. So it's probably last week was a game. Um, you know, we're hard to play against in periods, but. Not not long enough. So you know, it's uh, the you know th three out of four weeks has been pretty positive for us. Um, although sometimes you don't get the results you want. Yeah. Do, do you get the sense that the players have got one last push in them? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I can't see why not. It's uh, the, the business end of the year, and um, that was the whole purpose about freshening the guys up. You know, getting them away from from the game, getting 
you know, in with their families and enjoying some family time, um, it's important. So, you know, there's a there's a feel. You can't measure feel, but you can you can you know see it, <laughs> um, and and you can feel it naturally. But you know, I knew the guys were obviously tired after after last week's game, so we gave them some time off. Um, and as I say, they've bounced in. There's, they've given me no reason today um, not to think that there's there's another push in them now. If we have, you know, a massive push and we fall short, then we need to, you know, have a look why. But, so, you know, like in the cup game, there's got to be a winner and a loser at times. Um, and we certainly looked at that game to go, OK, why did we, didn't we get the result? But it wasn't due to the lack of effort and competing. So two weeks ago we do it. We did it in patches last week. Now we didn't look to do it again this week. Yeah, because although the Cup's gone, there's still a lot to get excited about in there because the playoffs at the end of the year, that's... They call it the big dance at the Old Trafford. So. Yeah, yeah, I mate. Mean, it's what we're all striving to do. We're striving to play finals. Um, but I think if if we do think too far ahead, you, you, you can get overwhelmed. So that's why, as I say, like the, the point is to give the freshen the guys up, so they're not overthinking things. They can, they can come back in, um, which they have, and just really narrow focus to go out and have a you know have a buzz about them again, have some energy and high energy about the, you know, what they're doing. Because um, when we do that, we'll. We'll put ourselves in a good position.